Hi, I'm Thomas Jadlowski and you're watching Bison TV. Uh-oh, it's them boys in blue back at the Basingstoke Arena. Could that be the reason over 1,300 packed themselves into our humble little barn? Or could it be the league-leading Paul Baldwin Agency's Basingstoke Bison looking to follow up their huge midweek victory over the Milton Keynes Lightning? The herd were keen to take an early advantage, and with Liam Sharnock losing his helmet and forced to leave the ice, Thomas Karpov took full advantage by sneaking around the back of the net and poking one past Dalibor Sedler in the Steel Dogs net. Worth watching the Barracuda Network's replay again on this one. The initial effort flicking the netting and Karpov's effort was at the right angle. But disaster struck for the herd before DJ Babby even had a chance to read out the scorer. Joe Garina getting caught up with Tim Smith in the corner. The high stick drawing an injury and resulting in the Bison man receiving a match penalty. Much like during the week in Milton Keynes, the referee left with no option in the law book but to hand down the punishment and the Bison needing to be on their guard. <laughs> The herd were able to kill off the resulting five minute penalty with ease as Rene Yarolin was the next to test the Steel Dogs net, Ben Morgan wearing one for his troubles and Sedler in so much shock that he just kept skating right back into the goal frame. It wouldn't be breached again though as the first drew to its conclusion. At the start of the second, all the action was behind the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basingstoke Bison net, with Thomas Hiedlowski taking a trip courtesy of Tom Squires. Referee Thompson taking immediate action with an interference penalty from which the Bison couldn't capitalise. And he would be alert to it again soon after, as the Steel Dogs put more pressure on the net. Those moorings still seem to be a little bit loose though, as only the lightest of touches saw them come off again. The Steel Dogs had done well to shut down the host opportunities, but a power play chance late on saw the herd double their advantage. Again, a very patient bit of play setting up the chance with Sean Thompson driving home through traffic for the second of the night. And that was all the encouragement that the home side needed to take full control of the game. Patient build-up play eventually finding its way to Kieran Long, who nicely did the rest of the work around the net. Definitely worth looking at again on the Barracuda Network's replay for those of you who didn't catch it first time. You won't get to see much prettier finishes than that this season as the second came to a close. Into the third and the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basingstoke Bison weren't about to let up with Sedler once again putting his body and more on the line for his side. And 
with that came renewed in vigour from the visitors who piled on the pressure and eventually got their rewards from in close. Lubomir Corhorn credited with the goal, but a look at the Barracuda Network's replay show it took many bumps on its way to finding the back of the net. All that did though was make the Bison angry and the host went in search of more goals. Long did all of the hard work on his opportunity, but the final touch neither found the back of the net nor an onrushing teammate as the game remained split by two goals. The Steel Dogs would even pull the net early as they looked for another strike, but it would be to no avail. Connolly and Long combining on the breakaway for the fourth of the night, which left one Stan Laschek very upset with the officials about something. At least he didn't throw his helmet this time, instead preferring to show off his dancing feet. cares about that though, the Bison victorious once again as the title charge continues in earnest. <laughs>